first of all, uh, I need to create uh, a colorful texture. And in my case, uh, it will be based on uh, pattern chops. So, um, pattern chop with a length uh, 10,000 and number of cycles 10 and copy it four times and merge it. To create a null and uh, in the top uh, tab uh, choose uh, uh, chop two. Okay, and data format to RGBA because I have a uh, four operators RGB and A, and uh, change the pixel format to thirty-two bit float. Okay, and now I need the fit operator and uh, change it to fill. So I have these stripes and mm, now in this uh, second pattern uh, divide uh, length by, by two uh, and in this third pattern by three And now we need to uh, automate this to pattern by expression uh, in the face, ABS time, that seconds, and multiply it by 0.3. Uh, copy that to this uh, pattern and here by point uh, two, multiply by point two, and uh, in this pattern four, change the type to uh, ramp, and uh, number of cycles to uh, something like this. Mm. Oh, and in this uh, pattern three also change the amplitude to uh, about nine. Okay, so now we have this texture and uh, next step is uh, cr to create a mask. So we need the rectangle and uh, in output tab change the operation to multiply and now we get this uh, square and next step is feedback loop so I need a feedback uh, transform AGS file adjust and another one transform and composite. Okay, connect it right here and send this composite to feedback and change the uh, operation to dodge. So now we have this and we need also a LFO with a pulse to restart uh, feedback. So link it to pause here. Okay, and in the, the first transform, uh, change the scale to 1.1. And you can also uh, make a rotation a little bit. So uh, about 0.1. And I just as far I just change a few offset to something like uh, like 
this and in the transform change the rotation to six degrees. Okay. Uh, next step is a uh, limit top and in the quantitized tab change the quantitized position to sailing and value to something like this. Okay, so now we have this uh, colorful squares and next step is displace and displace it by itself. Uh, so now we have uh, different shapes, not only uh, squares, but also uh, rectangles in the different uh, sizes. Okay. And now we need to transform and make it bigger. So scale about uh, nine. Okay. And now we need to remove a black background. So I will do this by uh, this channel uh, mix top and uh, change alpha to zero. Okay. And the next step is uh, another one, feedback loop. So feedback. Uh, transform uh, uh, switch you can copy transform uh, four times three times sorry connect it to switch and now AGS for adjust. The composite. And send uh, this feedback to uh, this composite to feedback. And change the operation to add. Okay, so now we have this, and in this first uh, transform, change the scale a little bit, and scale and this axis to Okay, to this. Okay, I make a black background again. So I need a RGB key here. Okay. Okay. And can also translate it a little bit. Okay, the second uh, transform. Uh, Okay, it will be uh, as it is. So when I switch to index one, it's just stopping uh, image. Mm, this third just translated by something really small like this. And uh, mm, this transform to uh, to the other way. So now every time when I switch, it's just moving in the other way. So now I need to automate this. OK. 
Okay, so I will do it by a noise chop. So I need a noise. I'll change this to time slice and uh, this reset to on. So I got the only one value. Uh, I need the math. And null. I need to connect it to the switch. And now I need to automate this seed value here. So, oh, uh, oh, and also I need uh, in this math uh, change the range from minus one, one here to zero to uh, five. Okay. Uh, so now I need to automate the seat here. So I will do that by LFO, change uh, type to pulse and count and a no. And now I link it to the seed. Okay. Can also change this LFO here to something smaller. Okay, oh, and also uh, I can create here a rectangle. To change of operation to multiply. Oh, it's and to change the size to one and softness to point two. So now we have this gradient edges. Okay. And you can also uh, change in the switch uh, blend between inputs option to on. So now the image goes uh, blurry. Okay. Now uh, use feet and change in this common tab to quarter. To get a uh, more uh, vintage lo-fi vibe. It's now fit it again. And, okay, the resolution is okay. And now need create a ramp. Uh, we can connect it here and change the output uh, to set resolution only. Uh, and uh, uh, 
create composite. And to multiply it. And the period to something really small to get this line. Uh, okay, and the next step is just to invert it. Invert it a little bit to another one level. And change black level a little bit. Brightness. Okay, so. Uh, we can also make this a little bit slower. Too. Okay, so I, I almost forgot about it. Uh, connect this transform uh, top uh, about two times more and change in math to a seven. So uh, this transform is uh, selected more often. Uh, so, uh, this top make an uh, image uh, washing on the center, so it's just like uh, uh, cleaning up the image. So, uh, now it looks uh, more tidy and uh, doesn't have uh, so much these colors for so long time, you know. Okay, so uh, I think that's all. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next tutorial. Bye.